Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we'll be reviewing a bunch of small figures today to make up one review. So this review is going to be an epic one, if I do say so myself. First, we're going to look at each and every figure's box, and then the figures themselves. First, we got another figure figure from that Shoto line, and this is the Digimon Shoto. Lilymon, based on the Digimon series, Lilymon. Fall form of Togamon. And yeah, she is a cute-looking little pixie dual pixie digimon and yeah she's a plant type pixie digimon she can kick back that far kick forward that far otherwise she's got a broken leg <laughs> i like to have fun i do and the same with the other legs arms are on a full rotation Ooh, you gotta be careful about popping them out of the sockets because these figures can easily have their arms popped out of the socket but she can go out that far Due to all the posability she's got. She's got a lot of posability. Ooh, I just popped another arm loose. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Gotta be careful about that. And you can easily pop things loose if you're not careful with these Shoto figures. So, the thing is to just simply reattach it. Like so. And it's an easy fix. Head is on a ball joint. You got a waist joint. Head... It's not on a ball joint, so it's really tight. And her lower waist is popped free. Like, like it does. It easily pops free under the most circumstances. Is Digimon Shoto Lilymon a good-looking figure? Yes. She is a cute little Digimon, and I just love having her for my collection. And I remember seeing her in Digimon, and she was so cute and so adorable. I just had to have her for my toy collection. Why not? I might get Angela Mon as well. Next, we got some clearance items over here. We got Batman. 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 And this is some Batman Imaginex figures. This is Penguin and the Batman. And this was clearance for five bucks, and it was worth the money. A nice product shot of all the other figures to collect in this line, which is awesome. I love that they give us all this artwork on the box. That's all there is to say for the packaging. Let's look at Batman. Oh yeah, this is like the Adam West colored Batman. To the Batmobile. And he's got the same articulation as the other Imaginex figures. Not much, given its limited articulation. These aren't Imaginex, they are limited articulation, and I do have a collection of these going on. But there's Batman's articulation. The Dark Knight himself. Next we got the Penguin. Uh -uh, I'll get you next time, Batman. Uh -uh. And yeah, the Penguin is a nice looking penguin and he's got his original penguin outfit which is nice and he's got himself a swordfish sword so you can go slashing with the swordfish sword and be like take this dark knight why not yeah i say why not next we got a more older figure and this is from attack on titan ae with those energy Aliens from that movie, which was kind of a neat movie they did back in the day. This girl from there was a kick-butt girl, and you never wanted to cross her. And believe me, she was cute-looking, and she could bring bring the pain when it comes to fighting. Oh, yeah. She was a fighter, all right. I can't remember her name. If you know her name, then please leave me a comment. Next on the clearance list we got some mega blocks call of duty and i got this for six bucks on clearance 
And yeah, this is a nice looking set for a clearance set, if I do say so myself. Why not? Dare I say, why not? Got the ammo, the crate full of stuff, and the figure itself. There we got some product shots of the other figures to pick up in this line, which is nice. It's nice they give us a stand to put this guy on and everything. That's all there is to say for the packaging. Let's look at the Call of Duty themselves, the weapons. He gets a shotgun, so you can go shotgunning. He gets a trusty shotgun. Pew, pew. And a pickaxe and a bunch of little accessories here. Given they're so small, I just don't want to lose them. They're just going to wind up back in here. Such things being so small with accessories, with the Mega Block stuff. And here we got our Mega Block soldier. And yeah, he's wielding his bayonet gun and be like, I'm going to take on some commies with my gun and stab them. Stab, stab. Some Russians or whatever. Why not? Dare I say why not? It's Call of Duty. Why not? Next on the list, we have a box of roll blocks we got from our toy haul at good old Dollar General for 25% off. And we got some nice artwork on this box, which I will hold on to the artwork inside the box for a display purpose. So. Just because we're just going to keep the artwork. Just like I'm put up these Old West on it and be like, Magnificent Seven Old West stuff. Dun, 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 dun. And we're going to look at each figure from the box. But before we do that, we're going to look at the back of the box. Nice product shot of all the figures included and the backdrop you can put them on. Why not? Did I say why not? And I do like some backdrops. But now we're going to look at the figures. First, we got the sheriff. I mean, like, I'm going to take you in. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. Pow, pew, pow. And there is the sheriff. One down, three to go. And why did we bring in the Roblox helicopter? So we can do a comparison. This is the Billy the Kid. It could be like Billy the Kid and be like, you'll never take me alive, sheriff. Pew, pew, bang, bang. Why not? Oh, no, 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 no. And we got the Indian as well. Da, 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 da. Geronimo! It's Geronimo! <laughs> My favorite reference from Scooby Doo. Why not? He's got himself a horse, a bow and arrow, and an axe. Ain't that cool? We could be like Geronimo from Scooby Doo. Why not? <laughs> Dare I say, why not? Next, we got the prospector with his gun and his dynamite. He's like, I'm going to blow, blow some stuff up. Bang. And stuff. Why not? Articulation is pretty limited. Like I said, but these roll blocks are pretty limited. They don't have any arm articulation much. Bang. But since this guy didn't have any weapons, I gave him these weapons from the extra weapons. He gets a, gets a knife and a handgun. He could be like, pew, pew, bang, bang. But now we're going to compare him next to this Roblox figure. Not bad of a comparison. This one next to that one. Why not? Dare I say, why not? And last one next to that one. Because it's fun. And, of course, the Indian. Why not? And, of course, here's the helicopter. The Roblox helicopter. Why not? I brought that in for the fun of it. Is a Roblox Old West set worth the money? Yes. If you grew up with the Magnificent Seven, then these guys are pretty cool. You know what I mean? Like the Magnificent Seven, almost. I kind of dig them. For what I got them for on 25% off, they were worth the money. That's everything small from this review. If you like this video, please make sure to like, 
please make sure to comment and don't forget to subscribe. And this is Eddie Hill's small figure review. And this is Eddie Hill moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.